Women are obsessed with their emotions. I couldn't give a toss about mine. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only guy that feels this way. Men in general, I just don't think care about their emotions as much as women. Let me explain. All right, who am I here with? Kels. Kels, do you care about your emotions, bro? Yeah. Yeah, it's very important. It's important to self-reflect. It's important to be aware of them. It's important to understand them and how they can ultimately shape your character as to what you reflect back out. There is one that I do feel on a consistent basis, or consistently on a daily basis, and that is joy. Where it comes from, I don't know. It could be anything. Friends, family, money. Literally could be anything. The main one is seeing other people <laughs> Seeing other people take L's, man. Memes give me a giggle every now and then. Yeah, mainly laughing at other people, that's where I get most of my joy. Which one do you feel the most? Joy. Yeah. Happiness, yeah. What brings you joy and happiness? My life. Like, where am I? <laughs> you said me. You said me. <laughs> yeah, you said Come, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, joy. Happiness. Sadness. Ah, uh, joy. 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 What yeah. brings you joy, man? Uh, I mean, to just walk in the streets, you know, oh, it's sunny, yeah, it's sunny day, it's just just perfect, yeah, exactly, yeah. Happiness, joy. Yeah, what brings you that? Jesus. <laughs> Happiness. Yeah. Sadness. Excitement. Anxiety. Anxiety? Yeah. Are you an emotional person? I am. You are? I am, What yeah. makes you anxious? Uh, I don't know, my plans, my tasks, what I need to do, the deadlines. You know, the daily stuff. Yeah, it gives me anxiety. You nervous? Yeah. Don't be nervous. Okay. Smile makes you like less nervous. <laughs> Very nervous. <laughs> Anna, Hannah, yeah? Hannah. Did you say Hannah? My name is Megan. Megan. Well, you said Hannah? No. Okay, Megan. <laughs> uh, right now, because we're like at a phase where we're like confused, I think, because we don't know what we're doing. We just finished studying. Yeah. So we don't know where life is going to take us, so kind You're of confused, lost right yeah, lost. So emotions are up and down? Yeah, up and down. All what about you? Uh, she's my friend, so she's going back home. So even I feel a little lost, I would say, because uh, uh, she's going and uh, uh, college You're is ending. Yeah, but You're staying? I'm staying, yeah. 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 But at the same time, I feel optimistic because now I feel I have more time to explore London and just yeah. go about things. So optimistic You're about the You're happy that she's going? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Megan, what emotion do you feel the most? Happy. What brings you happiness? The world. People. People being nice. People being nice? Yeah. You just walk around excited? For most of the time, I try to be as happy and optimistic as possible. Listen, everyone wants to feel joy, and that's the reason why I make these videos, to bring you joy. They bring me joy anyway, and I enjoy making them. But I do think we put too much emphasis on being happy, on happiness. That it's really not that deep. Like, I don't feel, I don't feel happy or sad all the time. I feel whatever the bit in between is called, but I don't think it has a name, nothing. Like, that's how I feel. I feel nothing constantly. I neither react to good news or bad news. I just, I'm just existing right now. When's the last time you cried? The last time I cried was what, ages ago, to be honest. You know, probably when I lost someone in my family. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Exactly, yeah. See, I haven't cried since I was in year 10 and I wrote an 11 page book summary or analysis on the, the book of Mice and Men and I got a D plus for it. Like, I wasn't crying because I got a D plus, I was crying because I'd wasted time. And I don't remember what the reason the teacher gave for giving me a, for not giving me a C. All I remember is feeling disappointed in myself. And I haven't let anyone waste my time since. Yeah, but that was way before I was a real nigga though. I haven't cried since though, real nigga shit. Do you cry a lot? Sometimes. And what makes you cry? People being horrible. Yeah? I don't cry in front of people. I tend to keep, I think I'm the opposite. I like to cry like when I'm alone. Yeah. But I don't cry a lot. In front of people, yeah. Just scared to be judged. A little bit. I know that's not healthy, but a little bit. I try to suppress my emotions. Mm, used to, not as much anymore. What changed? Uh, just sort of um, started speaking to people about stuff, really, and getting it out, and um, not really putting things in anymore. So. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I wait like three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Yeah. Why did you cry? You know how us girls, we get like very like emotional, our side course, so. Yeah? Yeah. When's the last time you cried, bro? When's the last time I cried? Why yeah. did I cry yesterday? <laughs> she made you cry. <laughs> you see a girl can end it, you cry. Yeah, come, come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, why did you cry? When's the last time you cried? I'm trying to think. I actually can't remember, you know. Yeah. My period. <laughs> I was not feeling good. So every month you were just yeah, crying. Yeah, yeah, crying. <laughs> like PMS, it's a thing.
it's not easy to do. No, seriously. Self reflection. I have a good because I always say I was wondering why women are just crying randomly for no reason. Is it the period? It is the whole like honestly, but they don't want to say this then they don't want to it's like it the a couple of days before yeah. i'm like why am i so upset and then i realize just the period yeah <laughs> like, when i'm not on my period but. yeah i would say i cry uh quite often yeah. maybe uh less these days i'm trying to work on that i always hear women say they cry all the time because it makes them feel it feels good when they cry it's a release of emotions or some shit like that you feel better <laughs> after or no yes usually yes yeah after crying yeah. I haven't cried for about, I don't know how many years it's been. I can't quite get myself to cry. I don't know why people are crying. Did it help when you cried? Uh, yeah, it did actually. Yeah. It still does. Um, just don't cry as much, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's healthy to cry. Yeah. Just, yeah. But I just see it as a waste of time, like, just sitting there crying. It doesn't make sense. The, the idea of sitting there and just crying, I don't understand it. I don't know, maybe I'll break down one day and shed a tear or two, but God forbid. Listen, the point I'm making is I believe I'm happy 99% of the time. I can't ever imagine or remember a time where I've sat down and just felt sorry for myself. Like, even when I lose or if I take an L, I just charge it to the game, man. But I'll say this, I am lucky because I am tapped and my brain finds, finds everything funny. So I'm always laughing at pretty much everything. Even when I'm getting my ass beat, I'm still laughing. Of course. <laughs> Plus, I'm also surrounded by a bunch of clowns, so there's never a dull moment. So yeah, I'm saying if you want to be happy, just change your perspective. Find your purpose and surround yourself with clowns. Would you say you're emotionally intelligent? I think so, yeah. yeah. Oof. That's a tough one again, mate. Uh, I've no idea, to be honest. <laughs> no. Are you good at problem solving? Uh, yeah. You're a lawyer, you should be. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you got no clients. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I try to be as um, aware as my emotion as possible and try to not let it affect others. Okay. I think I am. Like, I feel I'm emotionally mature. Do I understand like what I will never sort of impose myself on the other person then. Are you empathetic towards others? I want to believe I am. Yeah. Do you let your emotions affect your day? Uh, no, definitely not. No. It was like uh, something kind of just like the I mean to be honest, a couple of minutes after I'm fine or so, which is alright. Yeah. Sometimes it depends on what's affected it. What do you mean? Like depends on what it is. Yeah, it depends on what the situation is and if it gets me down. Yeah? Yeah. Do you feel like emotions are important? Yeah. Apart from happiness, what's the point in the other ones? Mm. So to me, being happy is the only emotion that really matters because it's the only progressive one. And the idea in life is to keep going and to not stop, sit there wallowing in your own sorrow. That's why I'm always confused when women say I'm emotionally unavailable because I don't feel empathy for whatever it is they're going through. Because it just doesn't seem appealing. That emotion just doesn't seem appealing to me. Why would I want to feel whatever it is they're feeling doesn't seem to be making them happy. Like, what's the point in being sad? There's not a point in being sad. you just got to live life to the fullest. So that one's useless. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, <laughs> Megan. <laughs> now, I'll admit, <laughs> I do like empathy towards other adults. Empathy towards children makes sense because they're none the wiser. They need my help. But a useless adult, I can't stand. I despise, in fact. Because fam, <laughs> We're all being shagged in this life and you want to sit there crying about it and complaining. Come on, man. Stand your ground. Yeah. Mostly intelligent? Yeah, I'd like to think so, yeah. yeah. Yes. Empathetic? Not always. Yeah. No, no. But where, in certain circumstances, those close to me, I provide empathy for. Generally speaking, I find it hard to be empathetic to general situations. Yeah. Stuff that's happening around the world yeah. just has to impact me personally. For me to really feel that emotion strong. Yeah, so I think that's most people, yeah. yeah. And I need this in a partner. Don't whine, don't complain. Listen, if you're not smart enough, watch. Eesh, grab that. <laughs> or oh, emotionally intelligent enough, should I say, to explain yourself to me, then you've lost me. So you want to look strong in front of other people? Yes. That's a good therapy session we're doing, yes. I do. I do. Why is that? I really don't know. Um, I just feel like I want to be there for for whoever's crying, but at the same time, I don't want to be the person for whom somebody's there. I don't know. I feel like a liability then. You don't want to feel like a liability. I, really, I respect that. That's what I look for in a wife. <laughs> that's, that's nice. That's good to know. So yes, if I was to work on something, it would be to be more empathetic towards other people. But that is difficult when you're broke. You don't have time to care for other people. <laughs> that's the only problem. If I had money in the world, listen, I'll sit there and listen to your sob story. And I'll sit there and listen to whatever it is you have to say about the troubles you're going through. 
Or maybe not, I don't know. I would say this though, women do, as much as women claim to be emotionally intelligent and empathetic, 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 I'm pretty sure they only do that just so they can tell you how they really feel. They're just waiting for you to stop talking so they can talk, in my experience anyway. So they don't really care is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is hard to be empathetic in the pursuit of money, which is the current pursuit I am in. As much as I want to be in love and have children and do all those nice things, I should say, I want money more, bruv. I need money more, in fact. Look, you can't do, in fact, you can't even do any of those things unless you have money. Well, you can, but it just looks like a struggle to me. That's not the life. That's not my story, boy. That's not my story. Would you like your partner to be emotionally intelligent or emotionally available? Uh, Same thing, but would you like that? Yeah, definitely. That's really important yeah. to me, yeah. Like, why do you care about your emotions so much? Um, I think your emotions govern sort of everything you do, like, really. So. Okay. Apart from happiness, like, what is the point in the other ones? Um... I think you need them to sort of control your set, certain things you do in your life. Like feeling anxious about something maybe means it's not the right thing for you. Like the other ones, they just, they just waste time. You just waste time being sad. You waste time being anxious. There's no point. You might as well just be happy, no? True, but then uh, the happiness wouldn't be worth that much if we didn't feel anything else, you know? How do you know? Um, I don't know. It would just become second nature to be happy. I feel like everything else gives us something to look forward to. Um, Does that help at all? I think so. I think sometimes it can really, for me, if I'm anxious about something and I don't do it, I've realised it's actually been the right thing not to do it, you know, if that makes sense, so... I don't, don't, I don't feel anxious. Really? Are you really? I couldn't relate. Not at all? Let's say 90% of the time, what would you rather feel? What would I rather feel? Yeah. What would I want to feel? What would you want to feel? Of course happiness, yeah. but... Um, the other ones are not very... Like, you want to feel sad? No, but uh, I feel like that's necessary to really value the happy moments. I don't know. I feel like it I feel also... That's like something people say because it sounds... No, but it also... No one actually wants to be sad. Yeah, but it helps us grow. It's like saying I want to be hungry just so I can eat. You, know, you, have, you have to eat to survive. Yes, we do. But I still feel like all the emotions are important. Yeah. Now I should say, look all the other videos that I make. I already know the answer to this, and the other emotions, they're not important. Listen, I just feel the need to walk into the river and open your mouth and make you drink from the fountain of truth. As if you were my little horses. <laughs> Those are bars, you know. <laughs>